Nina, played by Molly Gallagher, has been taking a back seat on Coronation Street of late following the turbulent fallout from the murder of her lover, Seb, Harry Vizinoni, back in May. Corey Brent, Maximus Evans, and Kelly Nealon, Millie Gibson, are the youngsters who have been arrested and charged with the beloved character's death. However, in scenes airing next week on the ITV soap, Roy Cropper's, David Nielsen, niece could discover someone else is responsible for her boyfriend's demise as she creates a memorial for her late partner on the cobbles. But could Summer Spellman, Harriet Bibby, really be responsible for killing Seb? Summer did hang around with the group that is currently under investigation for killing Seb on the day he died. In scenes that have already aired, it was explained the young schoolgirl returned to Weatherfield with Asha Allahan, Tanisha Gori, before things turned violent. It's been reported in the coming weeks viewers will be taken back to the night in question as a number of flashbacks reveal the real murderer. These episodes could show it was Summer who dealt the killer blow as she returned to the scene later in the evening to get Nina back home and away from the trouble. Unfortunately, it could have been a case of mistaken identity as Billy Mayhews, Daniel Brocklebank, adoptive daughter might have hit Seb instead of one of his attackers. This immense guilt could be hanging over Summer and in scenes airing next week, Nina could get one step closer to discovering the part she played in Seb's death. The drama begins as Roy's niece arrives at the Mayhew residence to give the schoolgirl her bridesmaid's dress. Whereas Billy is upset as the dress reminds him of his cancelled wedding, his adoptive daughter thinks she looks fat. Adi Allahan, Adam Hussain, reassures her she looks absolutely fine as their romance continues to blossom. With the schoolgirl wrapped up in a love storyline, Nina receives a visit from a witness liaison officer ahead of Seb's murder trial. Nina is told she will have to stand in front of the jury and relive her ordeal of the fateful night, despite having trouble remembering what actually happened. As the youngster tries to come to terms with what's on the horizon, she has a conversation with Archdeacon, Billy. The churchgoer tells Roy's niece he has a memorial vegetable patch which has been left to him by one of his parishioners. Feeling a sense of calm from the idea, the beloved character tells her uncle she thinks they should create one for Seb. With Summer's head in the clouds with Adi once more, Nina goes ahead with her plans to place a permanent reminder of her boyfriend on the cobbles. Wanting to be respectful, Nina asks Seb's mother, Abby Franklin, Sally Carmen, for her permission to create the memorial. However, when the mother of three sees the designs, she isnt the most enthusiastic but this doesn't stop the youngster. Ed Bailey, Trevor Michael George, offers Nina the land next to the builder's yard to build Seb's memorial garden. The youngster is touched by the generosity and in a few weeks' time, the garden will be there for all Weatherfield residents to see. Unfortunately for Summer, this could only remind her of the guilt she harbors for killing Seb a few months ago. How she could be caught out is if Summer makes a visit to the garden and breaks down in tears over her actions. Not realizing Nina is listening in, the youngster could confess to hitting Seb over the head but by complete accident. Roy's niece would be devastated to learn she has been wrong about the killer the whole time but might sympathize with the fact Summer was trying to get rid of the attackers.
confronting Billy's adoptive daughter. The beloved character might tell her she won't hand her in to the police. As an alternative way to keep her freedom, Nina could tell Summer to leave the cobbles or risk being exposed. Trending taking to Twitter. A few viewers have been sharing their theories it is Innocent Summer who is Seb's real killer. One fan posted. But here's a theory. What if somehow Summer secretly appeared with the gang during Seb and Nina's attack and was forced into hitting Seb and accidentally delivered the killing blow? Would make sense why she was always seeming stressed before her diabetes diagnosis hashtag Corey. Another wrote on the social media platform. Anyone else think it was Summer that killed Seb and not Corey hashtag Corey. Whilst a third remarked, we still don't know who actually killed Seb in Hash Cory and it's already been revealed there will be flashbacks. I wonder if Summer's storyline will mirror Katie Harris. She struggled to cope after killing Tommy and eventually took her own life using her diabetes.